I think it was a, a lower a lower hanging fruit to create stardom around it and celebrity status around it than than some other places are. So elaborating on that. I really resonate here with the likes of Jamie Oliver and uh, and what Jamie Oliver has probably done, or certainly for my my generation, um, because he was very much up and coming on TV, uh, and I'm sure that there's chefs prior to him that had done the same previously, but none stand out as much as, say, Jamie Oliver does in that space. And I think he really kind of, was running with a torch in terms of this this cooking at home, but you've got a professional chef cooking for you. You're following along. You know there's authenticness to what's happening, and and then you know so you had like the naked chef and all the the millions of seasons of that or whatever, and then you had the the other follow-ons which I can't recall. And so this is created started creating like a big enterprise. And then other chefs get the same, you know, start doing the same thing. I think, you know, there's like Nigella Lawson and then there's all these others that have obviously followed since. And now today, I don't even know who the current chefs are, but yeah, I'm sure that there's equivalent TV shows by them. But what's actually happened is it's created an ecosystem around, you know, producing, you know, cooking shows effectively. Yeah. Um, yep. And so what that actually does is you get – some of these standouts like Jamie Oliver's, like Nigella Lawson, who become celebrities and they become celebrities in their own brand. And so, you know, Jamie releases a new book every bloody year, I'm sure, or, yeah. or whatever, and, you know, yep. and he's venturing into other mediums. I think that paves the way for other other ways of looking at these things, you know, the, and this is where things like The Chef's Table, come out those type of documentaries where pe- artists are able to have a, a different take and and a you know yeah a more creative take at how do we portray this you know this this craft this space this industry and i think you've hit on something there mm-hmm. um, that that is something that uh, makes a lot of sense in terms of the exposure that they're able to get now uh, and the personality of the chef. Uh, I, I, I like that you use the word artist too because that's kind of what's so interesting about these guys is that they are artists um, and it's very sensory, like you could, it's very visual. You could combine a heap of different things. It's quite relatable. I find like music... Um, is incredibly creative and you combine lots of notes, but it's not very visual and I find it hard to connect with the process of making music. Uh, I love, you know, while I like listening to it. Food, we've all made food, you know, we've all been involved in that process. So there's something quite, you can kind of understand what's happening and then there's this kind of artisan kind of thing going on um, where they're kind of working in a team and under pressure but they're creating these amazing meals and it's always something new and and then um and then you can kind of imagine yourself doing it or eating it or something like that yeah there's a i think i think the sensory to watch the artist yeah there's a sense there's a sensory thing that's going on for sure you know you can almost you can almost smell the food you can almost taste the food sometimes when it's sitting there you know you're, you're salivating when you're watching them serve up a meal on 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 a show assuming it's not one of those like real just delicate three bits of you know julian carrot or something that had been cured for 16 hours uh, i don't salivate over that yeah it's an area that's hard to innovate but a bit kind of accessible too because there's i mean people have been cooking for so long but there's so many combinations of things that you can still make new stuff. But there's a million restaurants, um, and it's actually a being a chef seems to be an incredibly difficult and taxing job. Yeah, and from people I've talked to who have been chefs or are chefs, it's a hard job. Like, it's physically demanding. It's stressful. It's you know the people are yelling at each other. Um, it's there's a lot going on, you know, and, and big big hours too. It's, and mm. I think I actually think that's part of the equation here, 
because I think that it, it, it sort of forces the hand um, in a few ways. One, it creates this, this need for mastery because your food's not going, you know, if you're in a, uh, you know, in a certain caliber restaurant or place that serves food, they're, they're not going to serve, serve what you put up if it's shit house or if it's not up to, up to, up to par. So you need to be at a minimum, you know, there's like this increasing requirement for mastery. Then there's also just this, this piece around how much you're actually involved in doing it. You just, you've spent so, so many hours in a focused, giving a lot of energy in every single moment of what you're trying to do that there's, you know, mastery is something that doesn't, can't help but come out from that situation, you know? Um, and there's I've, something attractive in the repetition of it too. Like you're doing it over and over again, getting a little bit better. Yeah, that's very Jiro, isn't it? Playing with playing with individual yeah. rice rice grains. <laughs> yeah, that is uh, certainly kind of honing yourself towards a, a, a point, isn't it? 